Good Monday morning to you all. My name is Craig Simmons. I'm Minister of Music here at First Congregational Church in Greenwich, and I welcome you to another edition of Music on Mondays. Our hymn request this week is from James Hoffman, who asked about Eternal Father, Strong to Save, commonly known as the Navy Hymn. This information is compiled by the website Wikipedia. Eternal Father, Strong to Save is a British hymn traditionally associated with seafarers, particularly in the maritime armed services. Written in 1860, its author, William Whiting, was inspired by the dangers of the sea described in Psalm 107. It was popularized by the Royal Navy and the United States Navy in the late 19th century and variations of it were soon adopted by many branches of the armed services in the United Kingdom and the United States. Services who have adapted the hymn include the Royal Marines, the Royal Air Force, the British Army, the United States Coast Guard, the United States Marines, as well as the navies of many Commonwealth realms. Accordingly, it is known by many names variously referred to as the Hymn of Her Majesty's Armed Forces, the Royal Navy Hymn, the United States Navy Hymn, or just the Navy Hymn, and sometimes by the last line of the first verse, for those in peril on the sea. The hymn has a long tradition in civilian maritime contexts as well, being regularly invoked by ships, chaplains, and sung during services on ocean crossings. The original hymn was written in 1860 by William Whiting, an Anglican churchman from Winchester, United Kingdom. Whiting grew up near the ocean on the coasts of England and at the age of 35 had felt his life spared by God when a violent storm nearly claimed the ship he was traveling on, instilling a belief in God's command over the rage and calm of the seas. As headmaster of the Winchester College Chorister School some years later, he was approached by a student who was about to travel to the United States who confided in Whiting an overwhelming fear of the ocean voyage. Whiting shared his experiences of the ocean and wrote the hymn to anchor his faith in writing it. Whiting is generally thought to have been inspired by Psalm 107, which describes the power and fury of the seas in great detail. Some went out on the sea in ships. They were merchants on the mighty waters. They saw the works of the Lord, his wonderful deeds in the deep, for he spoke and stirred up a tempest that lifted high the waves. They mounted up to the heavens and went down to the depths. In peril, their courage melted away. That was Psalm 107, verses 23 to 26. Within a year, the text appeared in the influential first edition of Hymns Ancient and Modern in 1861 and became widely used throughout England. The text was substantially revised by the compilers of that edition. In response, Whiting continued to revise his own text, releasing another version in 1869 and a third in 1874. John B. Dykes, an Anglican clergyman, composed the tune Melita to accompany the version of 1861. Dykes was a well-known composer of nearly 300 hymn tunes, many of which are still in use today. Melita is an archaic term for Malta, an ancient seafaring nation, which was then a colony of the British Empire and is now a member of the Commonwealth of Nations. It was the site of a shipwreck mentioned in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 27 and 28, involving the Apostle Paul. The adoption of the hymn for devotional use and benedictions in the armed services was first recorded in 1879. In that year, Lieutenant Commander Charles Jackson Train was a navigation instructor at the United States Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland, and the master of the Midshipman Choir. Train began the practice of concluding divine services with the 1861 version of the hymn every Sunday, whereby it eventually became an academy and then a service-wide tradition becoming known as the Navy Hymn. The lyrics were altered to suit changes in the culture and technology of the Navy. 
Additional variations have been written, often to specifically represent a particular branch of naval services. Our musical video example is from the Naval Academy Glee Club recorded in 2016 for the 75th anniversary of the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Enjoy this rendition of Eternal Father, Strong to Save. Oh, 